I made these shorts and when I went to wear them the other day, the zipper pull came off. Now that I'm looking at them, I think what I did is I went in and I cut the zipper stop off. I don't know why I did that. So I'm going to drop these off and have someone put in a new zipper for me. Hi. I wanted to know if you could put a new zipper in this for me. Uh, I can put it, but I have I don't have the exit color. Otherwise, you can provide me the zipper and I can put it. Okay. I'm just going to keep these shorts in my car, and the next time I'm near Joanne, I'll just run in and get a zipper, and then I'll bring them back so he can fix these. I love these shorts, and I'm excited to wear them this summer, so I know it probably won't take me long to pick up a zipper, but it won't be today. So I came home, and I looked through my stash of zippers, and it turned out that I actually had a green zipper that matched perfectly. So... The difference is it is a standard zipper and the zipper that I put in the shorts was an invisible zipper. So the zipper will look different, but I'm okay. I'm okay with that. The pattern called for a centered zipper anyway. I'm just glad that they're gonna be able to fix it for me. I'm gonna be starting on a Nomi pattern but I have a couple errands to run, so today I'm wearing this dress that I made. And this is an older pattern. I made it out of rayon. It does have pockets, and you can wear it with or without the belt. So I'll be sharing with you the know me pattern that I'm gonna be making when I get back. I just took this sweatshirt fabric out of the bag, so I actually need to wash it. It's a little lightweight, stretchy, fabric and I want to make Nomi 2080 and I want to make the jacket but I'm going to make a few changes. I'm going to lengthen the jacket and I don't think I'm going to put the zipper in the front. You just need five pieces for the hoodie and this is the line art and I really love the directions. I love how big the images are it just makes everything so much easier to see. I just realized there are actually three more pattern pieces that you'll need. So you will have a total of eight pattern pieces. The additional pieces are pieces 18 through 20. So it's the sleeve band, the front band, and the back band. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a note. So if I ever make this again, I'll know that I need 18 through 20 also. Pieces 18 through 20 can be cut out of ribbed knit, but I'm just gonna use the regular fabric. I lengthened the pattern by about 13 and a half inches. I just added the extension on the front and the back pieces. I also decided to lower the pocket. This is where the pocket would sit originally. So you have a circle here, and you have a circle here. Those are the placement lines for the pocket pieces. So I placed the pocket piece where it would go, and then I marked this placement line on the pattern piece. So this is the placement line here, but I wanted to put it on the actual pocket piece since I'm planning to lengthen the pocket. So what I did was I moved the pocket down where I want it, which is about two and a half inches. So now the pocket will be here. And then I just marked the dot here and the dot here on the actual pattern piece here so that I'll know where the new pocket should be placed. So there's a circle there. And then I have the placement line here and I'll just mark that, which I did here. And then when I'm ready to cut my fabric, I'll have the new placement lines in the proper place. I just took the brown threads out and made sure I had all white thread in my serger. I'm working on the pockets and I did go ahead and add some stretch interfacing to the fold over portion so that it wouldn't like, you know, stick out or stretch out as I stitch it or as I'm wearing it even, I didn't want the pockets to be floppy. I'm about to start working on the band that goes on the bottom. This pattern is rated as average and I did cut out a size eight. When you get ready to attach the hood, 
Step 17 here is calling for bias tape to go around the neck edge. So I decided not to put bias tape around the neck edge and since I didn't put a zipper in here, all I did was fold up this raw edge in about 5 8 of an inch on each side and then just stitched everything down. Eliminating the zipper made this project extremely easy. You do have drawstrings in the front and the pattern tells you to put the drawstrings in by making buttonholes. I just put a very small snip in the fabric and thread this string through. I'm really happy with the hoodie with the length and how comfortable it is. Here I have it paired with these Rachel Comey shorts which is a Vogue pattern I made a couple of years ago. designer shoe warehouse and I found some shoes I was looking for some flat shoes and I thought I wanted either a black pair or a neutral pair and I had those in my arm but then I saw these and I loved them what drew me to them at first was the color and then when I put them on they're so comfortable and they're by a brand called MIA Mia I guess and yeah, I love them and they were only like $34, so I had to get them. I stopped at Wingstop. I got some fries and some atomic sauce, which is like the hottest sauce. The guy tried to upsell me. So once I placed my order for a regular fry, the guy told me for a dollar more I could get a large. I was like, oh, no thank you. I probably won't be able to eat all of this. After this, I'm going home. I am going home to sit down and relax. I also made this new look 6378 garment in lace. It's a very easy garment that you can make to layer or wear with other garments. Here I have it paired with a romper that I made. The green shorts are ready. The ones that I took to get the zipper fixed. So that's where I'm going right now. I'm going to pick them up. I can't wait to see how they did. Here they are. Let me see how they look. Take the tag off. I was trying to see if they pressed them. Yeah, it does look like they pressed them. You know, linen wrinkles a lot. And these don't look too wrinkled. Okay, let me see. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, here's the zipper. Can you see? They did a good job. 